Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I thought it would be uh, nice for me to come in and uh, do a little bit more work on the can filler, which I have done, as you can tell. And uh, what I've decided to do today is get the plumbing sorted out, frankly. So before we talk about that, this is going to be a brief video. I say that all the time, it ends up being 10 minutes. Let's come over here and have a look at the control panel. This is almost finished, apart from... I'm going to end up dropping it now, aren't I? I need to wait for a potentiometer. That potentiometer will be coming from... Um, RS components or CEF or something like that. I can't remember now. I've got deliveries coming from both of those places anyway. Uh, I've made a few modifications. So this here is the potentiometer output or input, whatever you like. And that comes up here. That will be fed to the pot on the front of the panel. Um, I've left a big gap on the panel here in case we incorporate an LCD screen. I've also got a panel mount for the uh, USB connector for the Arduino. I did try and get rid of this barrel, as somebody mentioned in a comment, and directly take 12 volts to the V in pin. Well, unfortunately, it didn't like it, and it just illuminated everything. So whether 12 volts was too much and it was bypassing a diode, which I think has a forward voltage drop of about 0.7 volts, means that it was just too much I don't know it's only this little PSU putting out the 12 volt power supply anyway uh, that button here as well uh, which we was using for testing I've just added an extra little cable on there and that comes up to this momentary switch on the front as well this now turns the 240 on and off when it's plugged in we've got a little knockout to remove and put a cable gland in there and then through that cable gland oh no the cable gland is going to allow us to bring the controls out, the 12 volt feed for the solenoid, on the side. We're not going to run the power in. We're going to put um, a kettle plug. I can't remember what they're called. IEC 13 or something like that. IC 13 socket and plug. Anyway, that's what we're going to go with on that. So we can just plug it in and have a plug on a lead kind of thing. What do you think? I think it's going to work. Anyway, this is working seamlessly. Uh, we just need to obviously get the timings right and we can't do that until we start filling cans. I'm told that the can seamer, which I have ordered externally from Innovus Engineering at the princely sum of £6,500, yes I know, it's a heck of a lot of money, but we can sit around, that's the grant that we got from the government for closing by the way, so I made the choice that we can either sit, or, sit around and let that money dwindle away on rent payments for the foreseeable future, or we can be proactive and try and make, you know, turn the negative into a positive, as they say, and make that money work for us and invest it. And uh, hopefully that will put us on a good footing when we come out the other side of this awful crisis, which... You know, nobody's enjoying, frankly, are they? Anyway, so we've got the can seamer. I'm assured it's going to arrive within a fortnight now. So when that comes, we'll be ready to start moving forwards and brewing beer, which is going to be great. And uh, I've tried to order some cans as well today, but unfortunately I've not received an invoice for it yet from Bevcraft. I believe they're an Irish company, but with a warehouse based in St. Helens. So there you go, that's as much info as I can give you folks. Um, people are asking about the relays or the solenoids. These are the solenoids that we've got in position. They came from eBay, they were like 12 quid each. Don't go spending a lot of money on them. So I don't even think you'll be able to find them searching for that. Uh, they were five by two way 12 volt pneumatic solenoids I think was the search term that I used and then these are just potable water from um, you know your drink system your ice machine on your back of your fridge John Guest solenoids 12 volt again as you can see along the bottom we've got three lines coming in for beer all with their own solenoid 
and then grey for gas. We've got one line for gas. These pipes come up, they loop over the top of the chassis and then into the carriage on the front. I've ordered some connectors to put around this pipe work that I think I might be able to just weld onto the top here which will allow me to um, kind of let me just zoom in a little bit on there it should allow me to lock these into place and straighten them up as you can see underneath I did try and do it with some John Guest fittings it just didn't work so unfortunately uh, I've had to order these things from RS components uh, so each beer line comes through into the top of the fill tube and then running alongside the fill tube we've got some 5 sixteenths line coming from the gas and I know it's not tidy and it's probably not how it's going to look in the end uh, but we might even change this out for a steel pipe and have two steel pipes running down there we'll see how it performs uh, but this is going to be for the CO2 purge and then obviously the stainless steel pipe is going to be for the product and uh, so talking of purging and everything else this here is a stainless steel filler rod that you use for TIG welding 316 stainless again in the comments section um, on previous videos a lot of people have been suggesting alternative ways to measure when the beer in the cans is full uh, so I'll run over a few of them now seeing as I've uh, got a captive audience and all um, people have suggested using weight instead of um, the way we're going with current sensing or voltage sensing the trouble with weight is well where you, got, you need three separate scales down there and scales invariably aren't fast enough to uh, feed back in and turn the solenoids off so then we'd have to incorporate delays and all that kind of stuff in the code which is a pain and uh, it wouldn't work I don't think then there's people saying lasers or magic eyes again probably would work but you know what it's an expense that we don't need to fork out for I've got this stainless steel filler rod there's loads of it over there look just next to the helmet so it's cost me nothing effectively you know so what we're going to do is we're going to have this stainless steel filler rod um, kind of just at the side uh, just like this at the side of the fill tube uh, but not touching the fill tube and then what we're going to do is this filler rod is going to have five volts on it so and, uh, and and the filler rod itself is going to be grounded in relation to the to the Arduino so what we're going to do then is so then what we're going to do then is uh, we're going to sense when the cans are full because the beer will come and touch this filler rod and make uh, continuity to the uh, to the fill rod itself to the fill tube and uh, the reason we're putting a potentiometer on the control panel there is so we can measure the uh, current or the voltage of the foam and we can dial the trigger uh, voltage to just above that of the foam so the sensor won't see the foam it'll only see the beer and it's fast if you look back on some of the previous test videos you'll see it's fast as soon as it sees that beer it uh, it will shut these solenoids off so enough waffle I'm filling up my uh, SD card because I'm using the phone today it doesn't like it I'm filming in full HD so you can all zoom in and have a look at exactly what we've got so let's give it a bit of a run ignore the fact that the tubes aren't in the right position and everything else uh, and I have to pretty much stand quite close to it so uh, first things first we need to push the cans into position right well there we go that works we've had it tested I've put a little bit of a plate on there and it's adjustable so we can put a camber on it and everything and wind it in and wind it out so we have uh, that adjustment and then that adjustment to 
compensate for different size cans and ting. And then the cans are now in position. So we're going to kind of want to, uh, well, this would be raised initially. Yeah, so it would be sat up there. And then we're going to want to drop it into the beer. There we go. So then the next thing that would happen is the CO2 solenoid will open up and purge the cans for a set, a preset amount. And then as soon as that shuts, these three filling valves will start to open. They'll continue to fill independently and they're looking all the time for that 5 volts on the fill tube. As soon as they see that 5 volts on the fill tube, the Arduino will cut the current to these and they are pretty quick. They'll snap shut. Uh, if they're not quick enough, then all we do is just submerge the sensor probe into the can a little bit more to compensate for it. Just adjust it up and down a touch, you know. And then when that's finished, up they go again. And the rail will once again ascend and the can push will do its thing. There we are. So we've pretty much got it up and running, folks. And uh, apart from waiting for a few components, if I add them today, well... It's actually uh, half past seven in the evening, so maybe I wouldn't have gotten done today. But uh, I certainly got this, I, get, I would have got this complete this week, um, apart from just a few uh, fairings and coverings and whatnot to tidy it up. But it's been a rapid build, it really has, and uh, I would have liked to have taken a bit more footage of doing it all, but it was only grinding sparks and welding, I'm sure you've seen it all before. Uh, to control the speed of the cylinders, these cylinders are Camazo cylinders, 20 uh, millimeter bore, 250 millimeter stroke, for those who are interested in that. To control the speed that they go up and down, uh, for the descent we have these little um, valves here which will automatically uh, throttle they're called throttle valves. They'll throttle the exhaust. And uh, then on the exhaust of uh, the top of the valves, we're throttling them here out on the outlet of the, uh, what do you call it? The solenoid. Uh, so yes, that's the throttle for the gas in as well. We've got a little... Uh, water collector regulator there for the uh, air pneumatics going in we're running just over two bar at the moment which isn't huge this here will just be a feed to connect up to the co2 cylinder and the solenoid will take over from there opening and closing as required i've ordered some feet to put on the base that should make it look quite nice and uh yeah what else have we got uh, there's quite a few other components coming as well just to uh, make it a bit more of a complete and functioning unit uh, feet uh, I can't remember anyway you'll see on another video folks I want to keep this as short as possible I think I've run over 10 minutes haven't I crying out loud anyway thanks for watching folks uh, we're nearly there with a build and uh, we're nearly there with a the website as well so you lucky people will be able to order the beer when it's ready a couple of months maybe. Anyway, cheers for watching. Catch you on the next one. Thank you very much.